So welcome to the Mekinda, recently refurbished to include our new health cinema, as you can see behind me. Uh, inside the room, as you can see, uh, not only has it been refurbished in terms of uh, electronics and also uh, the, the lecterns behind me, but of course our large uh, 5.2 metre wide by 2.9 metre high 3D screen. The screen itself uh, uses uh, both uh, uh, 2D projection but also 3D projection uh, for use with uh, stereoscopic 3D glasses. So you can uh, view models like this behind me for human anatomy, uh, also for molecular modelling and see and uh, rotate uh, our images to any position that we need to for our course. So if we were doing a subject or a session on the hand uh, or muscles that flow through the hand, perhaps drug injection sites and locating them in the body, uh, all these models, this 3D model, can be used to uh, do that on the course and uh, help our students understand more about the subject they're entering in the world of pharmacy. This is our software for molecular modelling and for showing us how to uh, show molecules that, uh, on, on in 3D uh, and give our students and our tutors the ability to uh, zoom in and zoom out of the molecule uh, or orbit around the mo molecule to uh, look at it in further detail. Uh, the protein that you can see beside me also has a drug bound with it called amatinib in this case and uh, uh, what we've seen here is how uh, drugs operate or interact at a molecular level. Uh, we use this on stage two of the pharmacy program as well as in other parts of the program to uh, understand drug interaction at a molecular level and uh, for use with our students for the study of the M-Farm program. So that's a brief overview of the Mekinda and its recent refurbishment by the School of Pharmacy and we hope it's going to be of interest to many on our course. So welcome to the CAVE, the Keel Active Virtual Environment. It's been a facility that's been developed specifically for the M-Farm course at uh, Keel University. Uh, as you can see, it uh, comprises um, immersive uh, 360 environment which we can walk around and uh, in our case we've, we've developed a virtual ward to allow our students studying pharmacy to uh, walk around the ward and uh, do their virtual walk, ward round. This helps not just with the application of clinical skills uh, but also to practice everything from a bedside manner uh, through to how to explain things to patients, how to explain complex conditions and uh, help ones understand a bit more about their uh, long-term conditions. Uh, in the ward, um, as you can see, there are various beds. We can interact with the patients. We can um, reach out and, uh, using an on-screen wand, um, lift up the chart and scan through their notes, perhaps look at their x-rays in particular. And uh, so we perhaps uh, use that as part of our clinical diagnosis. We can monitor their, their stats or their, uh, we can monitor their uh, 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 sort of heart rate or oxygen levels on the, on the monitors on the wall. That can change dynamically. Uh, we can do things such as uh, apply some medicines or close the curtains if we want to have a, a privacy with the patient. But most importantly, we can talk to the patient. Um, it's not really around looking at their notes, but uh, using the microphones built inside the facility, we talk to the virtual character and then the virtual character can respond back to you. Uh, with a tutor facilitating the session, they can either act out various clinical scenarios uh, or we can use uh, perhaps a session where the character has a set of prescripted events which play out perhaps a, like an illness that's uh, worsening over a period of time. And your job as the student studying pharmacy is to work out what's going to treat the patient in the best way.